USS Ormsby, APA-49, was an Ormsby-class attack transport that served with the U.S. Navy during World War II. Ormsby, APA-49, was named after a county in Nevada. She was originally laid down by the Moore Dry Dock Company of Oakland, California on July 21, 1942 as SS Twilight, authorized for acquisition as Ormsby AP-94 on October 5, 1942, launched October 20, 1942, reclassified APA-49 on February 1, 1943, acquired March 10, 1943, and commissioned June 28, 1943, Captain Leonard Frisco, USNR, in command. Upon completion of her conversion and shakedown in July 1943, Ormsby sailed from San Francisco en route to San Diego to load Marines and cargo for Pearl Harbor. From Pearl she loaded more Marines, Seabees, and equipment and departed August 14 for Nukufato and the Ellis Islands. Continuing southward, she stopped in Pago Pago, Samoa, and then sailed on to Wellington, New Zealand, arriving on September 11th. There she embarked Marines and carried out amphibious warfare training until the end of October. From Wellington, New Zealand Ormsby steamed via Ekfata to Tarawa, Gilbert Islands, and landed her troops there for the historic battle on November 20, 1943. Returning to Pearl Harbor on December 7, she again loaded troops and supplies and conducted training through January 1944. On January 31, Ormsby participated in another amphibious assault, landing her troops at Kwajalein in the Marshalls. Following this operation, she moved on to Guadalcanal in February and trained army units until March 28, when she landed reinforcements at Bougainville and continued to Milne, New Guinea. In April she sailed to Buna, Fenshafen, and then to Adape, New Guinea where on the 23rd Army assault troops were landed. A reinforcement voyage to Adape followed on May 3. Returning to the Russell Islands in Guadalcanal, Ormsby loaded Marines of the 1st Provisional Brigade, trained then in May, and landed them on Guam July 21. While at Guam she suffered her only casualties of the war when one officer and an enlisted man were killed as a shell hit in the bow. Ormsby trained Marines of the famed 1st Marine Division at Guadalcanal prior to landing them at Peleliu, Palau Islands. Proceeding to Hollandia and loading army units, she made another assault at Leyte in the Philippines on October 20 with a rerun on November 14. In the latter part of November Ormsby was finally given a rest and she returned to the United States for availability. Leaving California behind, Ormsby with CBs from Port Wainimi set course for Guam, arriving on April 11, 1945 and then returning to Portland, Oregon on May 22 with a full load of returning service veterans. Making another magic carpet run with veterans in June, Ormsby returned to San Francisco via Tinian and Saipan from Guam on July 13. She departed San Francisco on 31 July en route to Manila to lift members of the 43rd Division to Tokyo, arriving there on September 13. Weathering a typhoon she returned to Guam and embarked troops for Tsingdao, China participating in the occupation landings there. Underway on October 17, Ormsby sailed first to Manila and then to Haiphong, French Indochina where she embarked the 62nd Chinese Army for Formosa. She landed the Chinese occupation forces at Port Say on November 18 and sailed for Manila arriving November 21. In December Ormsby made one more magic carpet voyage to Portland, Oregon, arriving on the 20th. This was her final passage after untiring war effort. Ormsby decommissioned March 15, 1946 and was struck from the U.S. Naval Register on April 17, 1946. She was delivered to the War Shipping Administration on May 16, 1946. Ormsby earned six battle stars for service in World War II. Ormsby was eventually acquired for commercial service by United States Lines and renamed SS American Producer. In March 1969, American Producer was severely damaged after striking a pier at San Francisco while outbound for Da Nang, Vietnam, with a cargo of bombs. Consequently, she was scrapped at Kaohsiung, Taiwan, in July 1969. 